Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 1,000 next kills, all in the free-for-all worlds. Uh, this grind took about 45 hours to complete and it was worth every second. The gear for this video is the same as my last next video, this being a set of full armadill and a zerite crossbow. And about halfway into the video I decided to switch up my archer ring imbued for a light light bearer, which I regret not doing sooner since it's very critical since the Zerite crossbow special attack is so powerful. Other than that though, the goal for today's video is to get at least one drop in these 1000 kills. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky enough I'll receive multiple drops uh, to make as much profit as possible. Here we are with the very first kill of the 1000 journey and the kill count stands at 356. Most of that was from the loot from 10 hours hours of free for all next video but i did run a few masses before that uh and unfortunately still no item so hopefully in this video we do get something most of this video was completed in world 332 that is the united states world for free for all next but if you don't want to go to that world you can always choose the alternative which is world 505 and that is for uk now as you guys can imagine 1000 kills is quite a lot so as it goes for the footage for this video i I pretty much chose any drop that I saw personally that was in the room while I was in the room. So you guys are going to see a ton of drops, whether it would be me or someone else getting them. And then, of course, I threw in a few instances of coughing. You know, there's always going to be people that cough at necks. Uh, one thing that I found interesting was that there was one specific guy who seemed to have the job as the tanker. You know, the guy that would always receive the cough almost every kill. And his name was Ozark Zero. So a special shout out to to him anyone who does free for all next does know this guy he wears full ancient dehyde and he's actually ranked 21 at next with over 20,000 kill count and thanks to this guy tanking the cough and pretty much never spreading it to anyone this made for very clean kills barely 20 kills into the video and we have torva plate legs seen this guy received them and he wasn't mvp so nice drop to start things off i noticed that in this video i did receive mvp quite a bit more than I did in the loot from 10 hours and that's not only just because I did a lot more kills but I was also really trying to do my best here with the Zerite crossbow and I think from what I've learned uh, and everyone I've talked to here I, my strategy was kind of simple anytime next would spawn I would try to spec it on the second hit and then I would always try to attack a minion at least once or twice to do some damage and then once the blood reavers would spawn I would try to do at least one or two hits on on them and then follow that up by just trying to kill next as quickly as possible by doing damage on all the minions as well as the blood reavers i feel like this gave me an extra shot at mvp just getting damage on everything in the room and of course focusing on next anytime i wasn't doing that here we have another drop uh this one by extro and he did receive some zerite van braces pretty good drop that is about 200 mil i believe or somewhere around that maybe 190 nowadays and then there's me receiving MVP. Uh, you know, nice little 1 minute and 20 second kill there. We do have a personal best of 1 minute and 16 seconds. Most, I think, actually all of my next kills have been done by massing so far. Although I will say there was one occasion in this video where there was only 5 of us, so I tried my first ever 5 man next, and I'm happy to report that I did receive MVP, and we did manage to kill it. So that was quite an experience, and I really did enjoy it. The loot was much better, because you're only splitting between 5 Five people instead of you know 30 here we are 100 kills into the video doing good so far getting a lot of ecumenical key shards which i'll always be using because as you'll see in this video i die quite a bit and those shards make it so that i can get back here pretty quickly if i can make a key from them what a beautiful horn drop current price over 400 mil and it was actually received by an iron man who did get mvp for the fight so huge congratulations to him another death coming in by myself and other than dying, the only time I ever did leave next was to do the elite clue scrolls that I got uh, while doing this video. Next is known to drop elites very commonly, so that is one perk of doing it. If you don't get any drops, of course, you'll always be doing elite clue scrolls, so keep that in mind. You can always transform them into masters, but personally, I just did them as elites. And I think I ended up with, um, I want to say either 13 or 15 elite caskets for the very end of the video, so stay tuned for that. We'll definitely be 
opening them all up and hopefully get some third age or some masters and then some third age. One of my worst fears is what you guys are about to see here. So next dies as I die and next drops Zerite Vambraces. So congratulations to Benny there for receiving them. But had that been me, I don't know what would have happened. I, I think I would have died, respawned in Edgeville and I'd have 200 mil Vambraces just sitting on the ground there with no chance to get back in time. So wow, that could be so devastating. So make sure to be careful while you're doing this. Here we have a nice little tour of a full helm by Cheesy24. Very nice item to receive. That would be what, probably one of the items that I would want to get is a Torva item. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure some of you have done Next back in uh, the original RuneScape when it first came out, but I was never that guy. You know, I was that guy killing green dragons with a terror bird. So this is a whole new world for me, and I would definitely love the nostalgia of just seeing a, you know, drop that I would get in my inventory rather than seeing it on a YouTube video. So that would be a huge goal uh, for this one. All right, I'm rambling a little too much we did miss a horn drop there but it wasn't in my name so is it really that important but yeah 400 mil to that guy law congratulations to him it was at this point in the video that uh, things were starting to look up you know 200 kills in and i was receiving mvp quite often of course using the book of the dead with the rune pouch to summon my skeleton thrall just to do some extra damage on the archaeus spellbook here we have a tour of a full helm not received by the mvp but uh, well done either way that's awesome to see and what we have here did surprise me. It's one thing that I don't see at Nex often, and that is the Nex Sling. This time received by Huey Freeman. Well done there, Huey. You and your ancient dehyde. I'm a little salty because he was spreading cough on me a few times, but that's all right. Well done. Well done. Uh, hopefully I get a pet. That would be pretty cool. That Nex pet is something else. It like runs as you run, so it's a little faster than the other pets in the game. All right, talk about painful. I was the MVP. But yet, Mr. 73, not Mr. No Sleep, no, no, Mr. 73 receives the horn drop. Oh my god. I remember when this happened in real life, I was, uh, oh, I was very upset. Very upset. But you know, you can't, uh, you can't get that upset because at the end of the day, what if I get a drop and I wasn't the MVP of that, you know? I suppose it works both ways, but congratulations to Mr. 73 for receiving that. That is incredible. Uh, here we have HBK. I didn't know Shawn Michaels played RuneScape, but that's awesome. He did receive MVP and at this point of the video we were 300 kills in. I started this video at a pretty odd kill count number but I did make sure to include every 100 kills so like 500, 600, 700 etc. Figured it looks nice uh, for the video so yeah. In the beginning of the video I did mention Ozark Zero who accepted the cough every single kill being the hero of this one and making sure that it did not spread to other people. Well with every hero there's a villain and in this one we have a guy named Report Rule for 14 which is an ironic name because Rule 14 is disruptive behavior, I think. He's now known as Vilker, and uh, he was the guy that was known as the Cough Spreader. Weirdly enough, he's ranked 23 with over 19,000 next KC. And yeah, I just wanted to give those two guys a mention. You know, there's always going to be someone that spreads it, and there's always going to be someone that tries to not spread it. So yeah, it's it's pretty weird thing at next. I don't know why people uh, do that. But yeah, just be on the lookout. The reason I mention it is because that is the number one critical thing that will waste your supplies at next so just make sure to stand apart from the coughing and make sure not to get coughed on basically well now that those honorable mentions are out of the way we did miss a torva plate body which is incredible as well as zerite vambraces but we're only 400 kills into the video so all these drops that are being obtained by all sorts of different people whether they're in max gear or just normal gear was really giving me hope for you know an opportunity at a drop myself and here's what i mentioned earlier the kill that ended up being just five of us at next and bare minimum supplies left but we did pull it off so a special shout out to those guys for not leaving the room that would have uh, that would have been unfortunate what i learned by doing that five man kill is that it takes a lot more supplies and there's probably a different strategy involved with a smaller group at next but i wouldn't know because i've never done it before other than that one kill so maybe in the future if i find a small group i can make a follow-up video and instead of it being free for all it would be split so if anyone 
everyone gets a tour of a plate body, I get a little percentage of it. So let me know if you guys want that by liking the video and I'll make sure to do a follow up next group video. Here we have good old Clarence RS receiving a Torva plate body. Oh, that is so awesome. I, I wish that was me, but I I'm certainly no Clarence. Following that, we do have uh, Yamad Bruv receiving Torva plate legs. He was not the MVP. That was Log Hog 8, but uh, nevertheless, it's nice to see a set of full Torva early in the morning. Here we are with another Elite Clue casket, so we'll definitely be adding that to the bank tab. Uh, back over at next, we have a Torva plate leg drop received by Ace Ology. Pretty sure this guy has max gear and a good kill count over at next. So yeah, he made a lot of money on that one. Always good to see. Uh, but yeah, overall this video, like I mentioned in the very beginning, did take about 45 hours. The reason it wasn't released sooner was because Phantom Muspa came out into the game and I had to commit to that for about two days. So that is why I'm about two days behind on uploading this one. You guys really seem to enjoy that Phantom Muspa video. So after I grind out Sarah Doman for a few days, I'm trying to make some extra GP, I will be returning to the Phantom to probably kill him a thousand times. So I just wanted to update you all on that. So stay tuned for it. Torva full helm this time as a drop received by the MVP DRS Warrior. And speaking of MVP, here's another one yet again by me, uh, getting close to 500 kills into the video so far. No luck seen, no drops uh, seen in my name, but I, I'm going to keep at it. I got a good feeling and I refuse to give up. I mean, even if I go a thousand kills dry somehow in this video I feel like I'm just gonna stay here until I get a drop like I just can't walk away I'm in too deep now nice little pair of van braces as well so I did actually see probably more van braces than any other item of Nex's rare drop table here's another pair received by the choleric and I was the MVP of this one as well so that is now two drops that I was MVP on but I did not receive so just let that be a reminder you don't always have to have MVP to receive a drop here but it certainly doesn't hurt so uh, I always just went for it anyway I think the light bearer giving me special attack back so quickly with this Zerite crossbow and because of that I was hitting 110 with my special attack most of the time and if I was lucky I would be able to spec next three times each kill and then rely on extra damage other than that and that would usually get me the kill if uh, no one else out DPS'd me and here's a Torva plate body never get tired of seeing items from next it's just so expensive that even if you don't receive them, you know, you're still in distance of it. It's just crazy to see. And then following that tour of a plate body was another one. Close to 600 kills in to the video. Almost have an overall kill count of a thousand. That is a awesome accomplishment on my part. I love how you can see the boss high scores now. Uh, it looks really nice in that. So yeah, really good to see a thousand kills being done. And of course, for the video, this means that we have less than 400 kills to go. And you know, no item yet. Where where is my drop? And here we have some Zerite Van Braces. And I did mention earlier on those uh, two guys that had 20,000 kill count, Ozark and Report Rule 14. Well, the guy that is rank 1 currently in Nex has 43,300 kill count. Goes by the name of No Marleon. So yeah, I don't know if he got that by massing. I didn't run into him at all to my knowledge, but I did run into quite a few people that were top page Nex during this video. So it's really nice to see other people's accomplishments like that. I remember one guy was one defense and he also had 35,000 KBD kills. I think he was rank one in that and like uh, top 10 in next, maybe like rank three or something. So yeah, it's really cool. The people that you see here, uh, all sorts of different people, whether it's like people in max gear or people in complete welfare who end up getting a drop. That's what I love about it. You know, there's so much variety. Here we have some tour of a plate legs uh, received by Snekus. Well done on that. And one thing I do want to say is there was a few people that told me Mr. No's sleep because of your 10 hour of next video, I decided to try out FFA and I made over 500 mil in a few days. My response, of course, was where's my split? But no, other than that, you know, it's just awesome to hear. So I hope that some of you watch this video and try out the next FFA worlds. Once again, this is world 505 and 332. And let me know if you get any luck. I'm really curious. You never know. You really never know. Well, as I just said all that, we saw two more Zerite Vambrace drops. And as you can see in the bank tab, all of the normal drops are growing 430 onyx bolts those are definitely worth something so we will make some money uh, although i keep dying so maybe not on the fees that i have to buy my stuff back for but no the deaths actually only cost me 100k i think the most painful thing about dying though is just the time waste you know you have to get 40 kill count again and then you know you're 
all back to where you started so it just depends but we are currently 800 kills into the video no drop so far but i'm not giving up hope i know it's possible so many people have gotten so many more drops than me and they've had a lot less kills but on the other hand there are people out there that have a lot more kills than me that have never seen a drop so it's like you know am i lucky am i unlucky I just don't know. A clean 1300 overall next kill count and receiving MVP once again. All credit to the Zerite crossbow as well as the light bearer. I really think that is why I was receiving MVP as many times as I was. Uh, I really haven't mentioned how many times I did get MVP, but we will see at the very end. Now, one thing I definitely did not expect is Zerite Vam braces. Ladies and gentlemen, the dry streak has been broken 190 one mil has been obtained oh uh, it's certainly not a torva item but it's kill count 899 with 101 left to go and people have started to recognize my name here i've been here for quite a while this month and i got a lot of congratulations from everyone around me a huge thank you to you guys for uh being a part of the mass and just all the positive energy you know i don't want to sound like a weirdo here but it was just awesome so many people complimenting the channel and the videos and so many people saying that they they started trying out next because of the video that I posted about a month ago. So yeah, all credit to you guys. I'm just sorry that I didn't do this sooner. That's really the only thing I got to say. Um, but yeah, what a great community. Um, just receiving that drop really changed the game, changed the course of this video. Um, so yeah, it was incredible. We got a tour of a plate leg drop once again on my MVP. That's three now. That is three times. Oh my god, I, I couldn't imagine. Can you imagine receiving a tour of a plate leg drop right after receiving 200 mil from Z? There I van braces. All right, I can't get greedy. I'm thankful, you know, I'm thankful. But yeah, there's another uh, horn drop received by Nerd Things. I see him here quite a bit, so well done, sir. Another 400 mil to your bank account. And yeah, just 100 kills left to go. Less than 100 kills left to go. Um, you know, th this room gets really crowded here. There's a lot of people. I think there was actually a time where it was full, which it almost never happens uh, from what I've seen. So you can definitely lag here a little bit. That's why you got to download Opera GX so you, you get the best game browser available but I won't uh, plug that any more than I already have but yeah you know make sure to check out the description and here we are ladies and gentlemen loot from 1000 next FFA has been completed and I did end it on a high note receiving MVP the very last time just a huge thank you to everyone in the room that kept me company and that kept killing next time and time again throughout these 1000 kills good luck gentlemen good luck to all of you I hope you receive all the drops in the world and yeah just thanks for everything really it was a great time and i already miss it i wish i could go back honestly but yeah we'll do some more next in the far future if you guys want just let me know either in the comments or by clicking the like button i'm not gonna lie i got a little emotional there but you know what can i say this this community is, is absolutely amazing but all right so the first price check coming out to be 22.3 million gp this is just in the normal drops most of that you can uh, attribute to the rune ore the runes and of course the onyx bolts and a little bit of shards as well second price check this one coming out to be 190 million they did sell today for 193 mil so zerite van braces was the one and only drop during this grind no complaints at all though took about 40 to 45 hours to do this i think i had well over 10 deaths uh i obtained mvp 101 times out of a thousand so i thought that was pretty cool you know just a little bit of of 10% there. Probably would have obtained it a little bit more had I had a light bearer uh, from start to finish and not midway through the video, but that's okay with me. Opening up all the elite clue scrolls now. I was actually doing this last night, opening up these clues. Just really wanted to get to editing this video, but of course, anytime I would open an elite, it seemed like I'd get a master and then I had to go do a master and then, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was just a lot going on. I'm actually not a fan of master clue scrolls at all, and that's really just because they take a long time and I never get anything good ever so I don't know I only do them for the videos if it was up to me I would never do them because I don't know I just don't think it's worth it but at heart I am a gambler so maybe I maybe I should keep on uh, doing them and be a little bit more positive about it because I could get a life-changing reward uh, worth in the billions so I don't know can't discredit masters too much I suppose but yeah overall just opening up all the elites I did receive a few collection log slot items so that was cool uh, it's not very
very often that I do Elite Clues, unless I'm doing Lava Dragons or Barrows. Otherwise, I almost always turn them into Masters. And to answer the uh, question, did I ever get that Fighter Torso back? No, I never got it back, so hopefully we don't get any uh, Fighter Torso steps, but you guys just gotta keep track of the caskets. I'll try not to be too sneaky for you. But overall, after opening up all the Elite Clue scrolls, I made about 2.2 mil. So that'll help cover the cost of my ammunition and my potions, because I'm pretty sure that would be close to 5 to 10 mil, um, but we still profited quite heavily compared to that. All right, let's see uh, what more I can add to that 2.2 mil. So we have a mimic here, this one being 462k, another jungle demon mask coming in. That brings back some memories. And then we have a 326k one. Uh, what's the next one? 550k ale of the gods. That uh, That's pretty nice. I think I got that once before when it was over a mil. Uh, following that, we had 669k, so we got about 2 mil from the Masters and uh, about 4.2 mil from the Clues in total. Hundreds of mils from Nex, over 200 mil profit. And now to show the Rune Light loot tab um, with the 1,000 clean Nex kills, as you can see there. 101 big bones equals 101 MVPs, 16 elite Clue scrolls, uh, 15 of them being completed, and one very strange dragon arrow I'm um, not sure where that came from, but yeah. Well, that is it for now, guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video, and thank you to everyone who uh, joined me at the Free For All Next. You all are awesome, and with all of that being said, I will see you next time. Mr. No Sleep, out.